So before we leave this topic, we're going to have a look at some fairly normal applications of ratios. So this is where you expect to see them coming up in GCSE exams. Um, three different common examples. One is recipes. Um, the second is looking at value for money. And the third is when you're looking at exchange rate. All of these are essentially ratio problems. So let's look at the first example. Um, three eggs and 120 grams of flour makes pancakes for six people. Question is to make pancakes for 20. So first thing to do is set it out as a ratio. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to write E for eggs, F for flour, P for people. So three eggs, 120 grams of flour gives me pancakes for six. I'm trying to make pancakes for 20 people, so I need to make sure that 20 lines up in the right place. Well, people is my third item, so people is going to go down here, 20. Now, I've got a problem here. 6 doesn't go into 20, so we're going to see, can I simplify my ratio? Well, yes, everything is divisible by 3. So let's divide everything by 3 to simplify the ratio. So that means 1, 40, and 2. So one egg, 40 grams of flour, would make pancakes for 2. That's now really easy for me to get up to 20 people. I just times it by 10, and it tells me I need 10 eggs, 400 grams of flour, and that would feed 20 people. Really, really useful skill. If any of you are looking at doing catering or enjoy cooking, you need to be able to use ratio to increase and reduce your proportions. Otherwise, your pancakes are going to end up too eggy or too floury. All right, we're going to have a look at the second question in two ways. The first is going to look at the non-calculator, and then we're going to have a look at the calculator method. Okay, um, so I've got A cola is 1.5 litres equals 65p. So here's A, 1.5 L equals 65p, and B is 2L equals 80p. Now what I want to do is multiply both of these so I've got the same quantity. Well, if I go up in my 1.5 times table, let's double it to make this into a whole number. So I can say 3 litres is going to give me 130 pence. I still can't compare the two, so I'm going to double this again, and it's going to give me 6 litres would cost me 260 pence. Well, that's quite helpful, because if I, I can now multiply for B to get 6 litres, so I'm going to need to times it by 3. 6 litres, times that by 3, I need to times by 3 here, would give me 80 times 3 is 240 pence. So, by multiplying and having a common quantity, I can now say 6 litres of A would cost me £2.60, 6 litres of B would cost me £2.40, so B is better value. And that's my non-calculator method for doing it. Calculator is much easier. I'm going to use a, a unitary method. 1.5 litres is 65p. Divide by 1.5 to tell me what 1 litre costs. 65 divided by 1.5 is going to give me 43.3 recurring pence. B, I've got 2 litres equals 80p. I don't need to reach my calculator here. Divide by 2 tells me 1 litre is 40 pence. So, again, if I'm allowed to use my calculator, easiest to go down to 1 litre, see which one's cheaper. Here, 1 litre would cost me 40 pence. 
one litre would cost me 43.3 pence. So either way, whichever way I choose, I should be able to see that B is better value for money. The last question here is really, really typical. And this will only come up on a calculator paper. Be so careful here as to which side of the ratio you use, because that's the common mistake. So, I've got one pound is equal to one dollar twenty-two. I've got a $250 PlayStation 4. How much is it going to cost in pounds? Well, I need to make sure my $250 is on the correct side of my ratio. Well, the dollars is the right-hand side in how I've set this out. So I need to go to $250. Well, the way to do that is to use my unitary ratio first. If I want to go from 1.22 to 250, I need to go via 1. So here, I'm going to divide by 1.22. And that's going to tell me when I do 1.22 divided by 1.22 is obviously 1. 1 divided by 1.22, I'm going to need to use my calculator for. It gives me 0 0.81, 0 0.8197. So one dollar is roughly the same as 82 pence. Now I can use that to go up to my 250, times by 250, times by 250 on the left hand side. 0 0.8197 times 250 gives me, to the nearest penny, 204 pounds and 92 pence. Okay, pause the video now while you um, write down those worked examples and then we'll give you some questions to try yourselves. Okay, so here are some questions for you to try. Um, the first one is looking at a recipe question. The second is value for money, and uh, as is the third. And then the last one is an exchange rate question. Um, you shouldn't need a calculator for one and two. Please feel free to use a calculator for three and four. Good luck. Okay, so for the first question, um, here we're trying to make 90 cookies, so we're timesing everything by 5, gives you 750 grams, 1250 grams, and 250 grams. A uh, bit more difficult when you're trying to make 45 cookies, you're going to halve all of your quantities to give you 9 cookies, and then times that by 5, which is 375, 625, or 1, and 125. You could have done that just by halving what you've done for 90 cookies. Adding up all of the ingredients um, gave you 450 grams to make 18 cookies. 450 divided by 18 gives you 25 grams per cookie. Part D. We've got one kilogram of flour, which is four lots of this quantity. We've got 750 grams of butter, which is five lots of this quantity. So we can the flour means that we can only make four times the quantities of the recipes. So Timesing everything by 4, 18 times 4 told me that it was 72 cookies. Uh, for question 2, um, you go up to 1500 grams, timesing by 5, 8 pounds 50 versus 8 pounds 70, so the 300 gram bar is better value for money. Um, for question 3, a bit more complicated if you're using this method, um, going up to 8 litres and then on to 24 litres gives you 19 pounds 50 versus 19 pounds 20 for three liters. So the 1.5 liter soap is the better value for money. Um, for, for A, um, times in your 265 by 80 gave you 212 Australian dollars. Um, here, because you've given the money in dollars, you need to use a unitary method. So divide by 265 gave you 0 0.337 pounds for $1. Times by 200 gave you 75 pounds 47. Using the same method, the $29.99 book would be £11.32 in pounds, so the price difference is 33 pence more expensive in Australia. Very, very well done. That brings us to the end of applications of ratio.